two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon guys, it's Garrett and today I'm going to give you guys a Photoshop tutorial for beginners teaching you guys how to basically select one color and taking it away the most proper way, getting the cleanest line cuts and you know, making it the best quality possible. So before this video goes on, I want to say that I am doing a logo giveaway for 100 followers on Instagram. Um, it's really insane, I've had this account for literally less than 24 hours and you guys have already got me 100 followers. So in the description below is going to be a link to my Instagram, there's going to be a picture here. It's basically going to have the rules, you know, how to enter in the comments below and it's really easy you know you just have to like the photo comment below and tag a friend and spread the word about it and everything like that we'd be choosing the winner within like the next like week or so so basically that's what's going on I'm, I'm gonna be posting a lot of pictures on this Instagram so definitely give it a follow you know it's a lot of inspirational stuff I'm gonna be posting the work in progresses and stuff but overall let's get right into the tutorial so in Photoshop you guys are just gonna open up anything and uh, this is really used for making PNGs and making for logos and a lot of people use this just to take out backgrounds of like magazines or take out you know a certain color of something and uh, it's really easy to do a lot of people you know mistaken it for being a lot harder I know a lot of people that will actually take the time and you know grab that uh that <clears throat> the zoom tool excuse me grab your pen tool and you know pen tool each line out each letter out and, you know it does get you know kind of really boring because you know you gotta like get the perfect lines done and then you have to go back over here and it's not a fun job to kind of pen tool a whole entire logo out especially when the logo is not like properly like completed or when you're doing like a magazine or a collage or something like that but uh basically that's one way to doing it is pen tooling it i do not advise that another way is if you grab this magic wand up here um everyone in school teaches you this you can kind of just drag it around and uh, don't get me wrong this isn't a bad idea but when i hit Control x you know it does leave like a fuzzy white line around everything and especially if we wanted to take out, let's just say the red inside of here, it's gonna take out a lot more than just that red. Or if we're gonna take out, let's just say the um, just the orange, it's gonna take out, but it's gonna leave that big fuzzy blurry line around everything. So this is a way to get around it all, and it's a really easy way. If you guys do have Photoshop, you guys will exactly have the exact thing that I'm going with. So right here in the top bar, next to Type and next to Filter, there's gonna be a Select button. Click that open, and there's gonna be a Color Range option. So it's about like eight or so down just click that and you guys are going to see the sample colors you know you can choose like regular colors so basically all you want to do is take your color swatch and click where you want to delete so if let's say i want to delete the uh white basically it's gonna make what i want to delete pure white and it's gonna leave everything else black so this is when you guys can start customizing stuff because you guys can literally take the fuzziness down and what the fuzziness is going to do when it's down, it's not going to make the lines as sharp. I'll show you an example. If I have the fuzziness on zero, you're going to see it's going to leave a big fuzzy blurry line around everything. And if I go back to select color range and then bring it over to, let's say, 100%, it's going to be a lot sharper um, cuts around everything. So pretty much that's all it is. If you guys go to filter, select, excuse me, just select click the white background and put the fuzziness all the way to 100 make sure you click on the white and uh let's just say that you guys want to just delete it all you have to do is hit okay and you guys are going to see the selection kind of bars going around everything after that's done hit Control x on the keyboard and basically you're going to have a very crisp and perfectly cut out logo so this doesn't stop here you guys can do a lot more and i'll show you a really good example of how you guys can take out certain things so if we go back to color range and you guys just click on the white, if you hold shift and click on let's just say the yellow, it's going to basically take out everything within the white and the yellow and you can see that it's a perfect, <clears throat> excuse me, a perfect crisp look on everything and you guys can do this literally for any mix of colors. Sometimes when you do it, it's going to make the other letters, you know, a little transparent, but I'll show you guys a really quick fix to get that stuff going. So let's say we're going to work with the white and we're actually going to take out this red and we're going to leave just at that orange kind of feel to it. So all I'm doing is holding shift and clicking the colors I want to get rid of, click OK and hit Control X and it'll basically take out this whole entire thing. And if I add that background, you can see that it's very crisp lines and it looks very nice. So now the question is if we want to take out something and it ends up leaving the text in a very um, low opacity, 
how can I fix that? So I'm gonna take out just the basic letters and stuff like that, or excuse me, I'm gonna take out the white and the orange. And basically, if I take it out and take the background off, you're gonna see that the checkerboard is going through these um the Red Bull logo along with the Red Bull bowls. So basically, there's a lot of ways you guys can do it. If you guys go to filter, blending options, and go to color overlay, you guys can make a color overlay, but sometimes it still leaves it on a very bad opacity. What I personally like doing is just hitting control J a bunch of times until you see that there's no more transparency. Merge them together and just go to blending options and then you guys can change the color overlay. So if you want to make it, you know, a very nice blue and see how that looks. Or if you guys want to mess around with colors, it's really easy to do so and it's a really good tool to know, especially when you guys are getting into like logo design and like you want like a certain shape or something like that. And you guys just want to like mess around stuff like that. Basically, it's a really easy way to, you know, just fix things, you know, get things working together. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. It's not so much difficult than everyone thinks it is. Everyone thinks that you're just going to have to pen tool it out. You guys are going to have to use that um, magic eraser. It's not that basically not that hard. It's just literally a few buttons and you guys are set. So I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. I wanted to make it really short and sweet just for you guys because I know I'm not been uploading a lot of Photoshop tutorials lately. It's only been about six minutes, but of course I want you guys to start learning the basics and I am going to leave a beginner, you know, warning in the title of this video just because I don't want people freaking out that it's not some complex header. I'm going to be getting into a lot of min minimalistic stuff and a lot of um, advertising design, a lot of magazine posters. So bear with me while I get this stuff going. As I said before in the beginning of the video, if you guys do want to enter in the giveaway for the logo, there's going to be a link in the description below. Just head over, you know, like it, tag a friend, and know, follow me, and I'll... You guys will pretty much win a free logo, maybe. And uh, it's only going to be going on for about another nine days, so definitely hop in there as fast as possible, and let's get it going. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it did stay to the end, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on this video, and thank you guys so much for 11,300 subscribers. It's, you know, honestly insane. Overall, guys, I hope you guys have a really nice day. I hope school's doing you guys well, and I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.